the people like me that are taking them for what we need are kind of getting pushed aside for all these people that are taking them, you know, just recreationally or they're taking them that are actually are addicted to pain meds. A prescription pain medication user says new guidelines from the CDC his doctors follow are causing him pain. Thank you for joining us. I'm Krista Baim. He uses his prescribed pain meds to help with his constant pain from arthritis and other health issues. Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons explains why the latest CDC guidelines to aid in the epidemic of opioid addiction are actually hurting people like him. John Unstad has been taking prescription pain medication for about 10 years. First Oxycontin, then to morphine sulfate, varying the amounts daily. The normal meds that you use for arthritis don't work for me. So this is what I've been on for you know, managing the pain from the arthritis because I've got it all over my whole body. His sister Lisa says he's not trying to completely eliminate the pain. When he's taking morphine, he only takes enough to um, make it manageable for him for the day. His past two visits to a pain clinic, his doctor told him he needed to lower his dosage because of new CDC guidelines in response to the increasing opiate abuse. That doesn't really tell the whole story because the people like me who need the prescription pain meds, we function normally in everyday, you know, in society and you don't even know that we're on them. Both Cass and Clay Public Health, along with Essentia and Sanford Health, have joined forces to tackle the issue of opiate abuse. They say the best practices for managing chronic pain without opiate medication includes applying heat or ice, using anti-anxiety or antidepressant medication, or over-the-counter medications. To even feel anything, it would take like, well, 12 a day of, of Tylenol and 12 a day of ibuprofen. Prairie Pharmacy says the new guidelines are not mandatory, just recommendations for doctors. Lisa says if doctors want her brother to decrease his dosage, it needs to be gradual, not all of a sudden like they are asking. He needs more time from starting from where he was before, like at 90 and 90 twice a day, to get down to 60 and 60 a day. Unstad has tried all the alternatives and is allergic to the other pain medications on the market. He says if he didn't have his morphine sulfate prescription, he would lose his quality of life. You know, there's these certain few people that are making it bad for the people that really need something. In Fargo, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. We have more information on the new CDC guidelines for opioid pain medications on our website. Just go to valleynewslive.com.